Hey guys, Adi G here, and today I'm taking a quick break from my art studio in order to bring a video to some people who will be praying for my community as they recover and pick up the pieces from the tornado damage that was incurred in my community and in my neighborhood last night. This is a video of the tornado as it formed and headed towards Stone Canyon, which is the neighborhood that I live in. And I just want to say that I'm very, very grateful that our home did not sustain any damage. But I cannot say the same for others in my neighborhood. It's a great place to live and I wish them a speedy recovery and stress-free and I'm so thankful that no one was injured and there were no fatalities in our neighborhood. So thanks for allowing me to bring this to my channel so it will benefit those who were in the tornado shelters and were unable to see just exactly what occurred in my neighborhood. This will give them an opportunity to see firsthand just how blessed we really are. Again, so Will has that picture. It's moving over 169 and 56th Street. You can see that funnel cloud now right in the center of your screen, and it's directly over 56th Street and 169. Travis? All right, you can see it rotating. Will's got a great picture of that. It's a rotating wall cloud right now all over that at this time as uh, it is just situated over, if you're at 66th Street North, down to really about uh, 36th Street North, 46th Street North, that is the primary area where you're gonna get some strong winds. On the backside of this, there could be some damaging winds of 70, 80 miles per hour. The tornado itself is centered right there near 169 and 56th Street North, and we do have a tornado warning that continues to effect for southwestern Rogers County, northeastern Tulsa County, that's the one, and we have confirmed, obviously, a tornado is on the ground, National Weather Service, uh, saying that uh, we will continue with this warning morning through 8.15. We're at 8.37 right now. Uh, the rotation continues to show up. The funnel cloud continues to be right there, and it has been on the ground now uh, for a considerable period of time, and it has cycled somewhat, but we continue to have a very strong indication that the rotation is there. Uh, I've got a track on it for you. It'll be headed to Claremore, Vertebris, if it maintains itself. Claremore around 803, Vertebris around 753. I uh, just give you an idea. And as it moves out of the Tulsa area and moves on into the southern part of Rogers County, kind of give those folks downstream an idea about when it might be impacting them. So that's uh, something those folks need to be aware of also, Travis. All right. Thanks. I appreciate that. And uh, we do have, who's on Ren 37 station? Okay. And uh, that'll be some of the tornado damage. Uh, that's coming into us as well. I'd like to, uh, well, we're going to stay just uh, with uh, what's going on right now. This is over Owasso still. So we're still in Owasso and it's still showing up. And get this, uh, so it's to the east side at this time of 169. It's hugging 56th Street North. So it's staying just on the south side of Owasso. But if you are in Owasso, extremely heavy rain. Marty is in the middle of that right now. I don't know if Marty is uh, near the phone as well, but uh, uh, we're going to uh, be talking to him in just a minute. Let's go back to Will. I don't know if you have a, I see the sun setting on the shot. I see the funnel. Uh, tell us a little bit more. What do you have? It's tr correct, Travis. That is now, like you say, 56th Street. And that funnel cloud just developed as we were coming on the air here. We got it backlit with the sun, but right now we believe it's just a funnel cloud. We can't see it touching down, but again, it's a thick and wide funnel cloud as we continue to move around here. We are just due east of it on, over the quarries just north of 46th Street as it continues to move mostly eastbound right now. We don't even see it really going northeast at all as we continue between 46th Street and 56th Street moving along in an easterly pattern. Travis? All right, again, that's halfway to the ground. That means it's on the ground. So, again, tornado still on the ground as it continues to show up in an area that's just along 56th Street North. And uh, Will is located right in this area. He's looking straight back into it for the setting of the sun. And you can see that. So that cone is right there. So a tornado still on the ground. And we're situated now just on about 100, 145th East Avenue. 
and uh, sitting right at 56th Street at this time. Uh, so this is the location where the tornado is, and this is the uh, location of where the tornado is headed. It's just off to the east, as Dick was saying. It's almost a due east movement at this particular time, and uh, we do have debris in the air. So uh, Dick is seeing that the, the, the uh, dual pole radar is showing debris in the air, so that is sucked up debris, and uh, so there is a high probability that it has done a lot of damage uh, in certain areas along uh, this path that's been on 56th Street North. Again, if you're just north of this, you will have to be advised that this is an area in which you're picking up some large hail and the potential for uh, some extremely heavy, heavy downpours of rain. Tornado warning still is in effect for areas just to around the Nawada area. Uh, good news so far is that that storm is just on the north side of Nawada as well, uh, but it still continues to show signs of a strong rotation, but it is not as strong as it was. The tornado warning continues in effect right now just southeast of Owasso, and you can see it with the funnel cloud now holding a little bit more steady, uh, and you can see it's still moving. Now we're at 76th Street North to about 45th Street North, and it is now moving almost to uh, State Highway 167, where Will is located. He's looking back at that little core. is about right to... Uh, about right here, that little area that's hanging down. Will, you want to give us another update? Travis, right now, we just see that wall cloud. We don't see it. It is still trying to make funnel clouds. You can see there it going up and down. It's in a life cycle that wants to develop a little bit more, but it seems to be ending right here. I mean, we're going to continue to track it now. You're talking about debris. We saw large pieces of debris. All right, so Will's in the wall cloud right there starting to develop. And it continues to develop up and down here with large debris in the air. We saw the large parcels of uh, aluminum roofs, metal roofs coming off and flying out and around 169 east and west side of it. So, again, if you're out, you know outside, be careful of any flying objects that are out here as, as well as the, the tornado that's coming out. So, again, it's just not the tornado, but it's the debris that's out in this area. And you can look at this funnel cloud really starting to get defined out here. Now, we are just south of 56th Street north of 46, right in the middle here, on the uh, just by the quarries. That's at the quarries right now. It's on the ground again, Travis. It is on the ground at the quarries, moving eastbound, right, right. between 46th Street and 56th Street, moving directly towards the Port of Catoosa. All Travis? right. Travis? Yeah, if, we'll, if you guys can stay right on that uh, close in, that'd be great for just a little bit. Uh, again, that is going to be bouncing up and down for a while. Uh, so that's cycling. Uh, and as it cycles, it'll continue. Again, the good news is small tornado. Bad news, it's a tornado. The circulation feature continues to be fairly strong in that. Dick Faroe is watching that as well as the Nawada storm. And it's still rotating at a very high rate. Uh, so we continue to have uh, issues with uh, what's going on with that particular cell. That is, again, just south of a, on the south side of Owasso at 76th Street. Uh, so, again, the tornado warning continues in effect for areas of extreme eastern of uh, northern Tulsa County and moving into Rogers County now as we speak. So if you're in these areas, we do need you to continue to be very mindful of what's happening. This will be moving near Vertigris if this can hold together for a while longer. This is uh, running on an area back on the ground again. Uh, so Will has it. Check that out again. That's just on the ground. Will, it looks like that's an open field right in there. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, we're just, like I said, north of 46, literally right in the middle between 46th Street and 56th Street, about a mile south of Gundy's, if you will. Now we're moving towards the Patriot Golf Course in that community. I'd say it's maybe a quarter mile from that. That, if you would, and if we could just, uh, again. Travis, that's, that's going to be Stone Canyon out here. This is Stone Canyon that it's right on the west side of right now as it continues to kind of skip around this area. All right. Again, you're looking at, uh, again, tornado just southeast side of Owasso at this time. Tornado warning continuing in effect for areas of northern Tulsa County. Uh, but this is going to be right along the area from about 193rd East Avenue and 66th to 55th Street up to 76th Street. So, again, around 193rd Street between 76th and about 56th to maybe 46th Street North. That is the zone in which we are watching at this particular moment as that continues to be wrapped up. So it's wrapping up on itself one more time again. And so you see it on the ground. Will, uh, as you're looking at that, uh, again, as those uh, continue to drop down, uh, it's right in. Now you're getting into the subdivision. 
Correct, Travis. It's now getting into residential area for the first time since it's been on the ground over by Mohawk Lake in the reservoir. We are now getting into the Stone Canyon in that residential area that's to the northwest of the Port of Catoosa, as well as that uh, the golf course that's out here. You can see it skipping through that area, but again, it is on the ground in the Stone Canyon area. Travis? Right. And if you're in this area, you need to take cover, obviously, immediately. Uh, that goes almost without saying. This tornado warning is part of, again, it, it pretty much just vaporized, came in upon itself right now, but it is rotating still. There's a huge rotating wall cloud. And this is Sky News 6 right in here. Marty is right in here. And uh, we're watching this as it continues to track across the area from 76th Street North, 66th Street North. And so it's wrapped up on itself right now. And uh, Will, I cannot tell from that picture uh, as we're looking at it, that's going to be going between Valley Park and uh, Vertigris. These are the two uh, areas in which, uh, if you're in this zone, you're right in between uh, where this cell's going. So as we go street by street, Vertigris, right now we are just crossing the north side of the Port of Catoosa as it just made its way through Stone Canyon here. We can see it right there. You see the house right there and the debris as it's hitting the houses in Stone Canyon. There's the debris off of some roofs. I hope people are taking cover in this area as it continues to move eastbound. And it's moving truly eastbound between 56th Street and 46th Street, making its way towards Vertigris right now. But again, Stone Canyon, you can see the debris that's out in that area as it's making its way through that residential area. And again, everybody, I hope they're taking their precautions, their tornado precautions, and they're in cover. But again, north side of Catoosa, we're continuing to move out into the Vertigris, Vertigris area. Travis? All right, Will, yes, this is, again, uh, for folks who are just joining us, this is on the southeast side right now of Owasso. A tornado warning has been in effect for over an hour and a half to almost two hours now and this is a storm that continues to track right across uh, uh, this is one of the first subdivisions we've had since it's been in north tulsa and again some of the debris is falling the good news is there's not a ton of debris which means a smaller tornado bad news is again continues it's a tornado moving through this area so this is underneath a huge wall cloud and so these are spin-ups that are occurring underneath this huge area of literally air being sucked up into this large uh supercellular storm which is going on right now will uh, i'm looking at it and again it's getting hazy obviously because the sun's set uh, but we're seeing that uh, again still is that moving on the east side now of the uh, addition and will he has to talk obviously to uh uh, different folks in that area, but this is the location again. Uh, again, he's right near the airport, so he has to be uh, talking about that, but the rotating area is right in here, so we're in the same spot. We have been, this is moving again, just between the vertigris.